Hi, I have welcome to Karimo. So in this episode of the Lead Code series, we are going to solve the question of Valid Mountain Array. It's a very simple question, but as usual, let's start with reading the question, trying to understand it with an example and developing an algorithm. Later, obviously, let's get to Lead Code and code that algorithm. So let's get started by reading the question. So given an array of integers ARR, return true if and only if it is a valid mountain array. So what does it mean? It means that we are given an array. If it is a mountain array, we have to return true. Else we have to return false. Pretty simple, right? But you might ask me, so what is a mountain array? You didn't even tell me what a mountain array is, but you want, to, you want me to check that whether it's a mountain array or not. It's a valid question. And that is what they have given here. So recall that ARR is a mountain array if and only if there are basically two conditions. The first condition being the length of the array should be greater than or equal to 3. Pretty simple, easy to check as well. Okay, first condition easily satisfied. What's the second condition then? So there exists some i with 0 less than i less than array dot length minus 1. So, there is some index between 0 and the last index. So, there is an index in between the first index and the last index. Okay. And specifically, it is not less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. It is less than and greater than. Which means, i cannot be 0 and i cannot be array dot length minus 1. So, i must be a number in between these two numbers. It cannot be other extremes. We will see why is that. Okay. But still, just know that this is what is given in the question. Okay. Such that array of 0 is less than array of 1 is less than array of 2 until array of i. So, what does it mean? Until i, the value of the array numbers should be strictly increasing. So, the first number should be greater than the, uh, la, no, the previous number. Second number should be greater than the first number. Third number should be greater than the second number. And ith number should be greater than i minus 1th number. So, starting from 0 until i, all the numbers should be strictly increasing. It should be in the increasing order. And from i until the last element, which is array dot length minus 1, the element should be in the decreasing order. So, array of i is greater than array of i plus 1. And array of i plus 1 is greater than array of i plus 2. And similarly, until the last element. So, this is the tricky part and this is what we have to find. Okay. So, Let's first simplify this, try to visualize this as a mountain and then get back. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have a character and a mountain associated. So let's first climb this mountain and check whether this is a mountain array or not. Okay, so first as he can, it climbs to the you know, top of the mountain, which means this is the value of i that we have. This i satisfies the condition that is given here. So, it starts from the lowest point and reaches the peak and it did not decrease. It is straightly or strictly increasing. It did not go like it dips down and then comes up. It is not like that. It is straight and it is strictly increasing. And similarly, from here to the bottom, it is strictly decreasing. Okay, It did not come down and then go up again come down. It is not like that. It is irregular and it is smooth. So, it is strictly decreasing. So, if it is strictly increasing, it reaches a point i and then it is strictly decreasing. You get a triangular shape, right? If you get that triangle, it means it is a mountain array. Okay. And since it approximately resembles a triangle and it does not decrease and then increase. Okay. So, this is a mountain array. But let us take this example. In this case, you have a mountain. You can climb to the top. So, this would be the value of i because this is the peak. An element starts to decrease from here, right? But as you can see here, it decreases and again increases. So, this does not satisfy this condition. Sorry. This condition of after finding i, elements should decrease, right? Array of i should be greater than array of i plus 1. That condition is not being satisfied here. So, that is why this mountain is not a mountain array, okay? So, with that, let's get to an example. So, okay, this is easy to find. If you give me a mountain, I can visually see this and check. But how do I make a computer 
find whether this is a mountain array or not. So, that is our next question. So, let us take an array like this, ok. So, this is the exact, uh, you know, image that is given in lead code. Let us first try to understand this and then let us take our own example as well, ok. So, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, as you can see here, 0 is less than 2, 2 is less than 3, 3 is less than 4, 4 is less than 5. And when you reach 5, 5 is not less than 2. So, this is the point which is i. You have reached the peak of the mountain. And from this peak, it should strictly decrease. So, 5 is less than, sorry, 5 is greater than 2, 2 is greater than 1, 1 is greater than 0. So, this is strictly decreasing, this is strictly increasing, ok. So, this forms a triangle as you can see here. This is a triangle and hence, this is a mountain array. But in case, if you take this example, 0 is less than 2, 2 is less than 3, 3 is not less than 3, it is equal to 3. Right. So, 3 is the peak point. We will assume that 3 is our value of i. Okay. Now, we will check whether uh, the elements to the right of i is less than the value of 3. Okay. So, uh, 3 is not greater than 3, it fails here itself, but again 3 is uh, not uh, greater than 5 and 5 again here it is decreasing. 5 is greater than 2, 2 is greater than 1, 1 is greater than 2, but here there is a, uh, you know, uh, flat surface and then it increases and then it decreases. So, it is not strictly increasing, it does not form a triangle, it rather forms a, a weird trapezium or somewhat, right. So, it is not a exact shape that you want which is a triangle and hence this is not a mountain array, ok. It is not strictly increasing, but it is strictly decreasing, ok. And hence this is not a mountain array. So, how do we find this and how did we find this? Let us take an example like this here. What did we do? We found the value of i by checking whether until which point or which number is the values are increasing. We stop the loop when we find the value which is starts to decrease, the element starts to decrease from that number. For example, in this example, the element starts to decrease at this point and in this number, the element starts to decrease at this point, the five value 5, right. And similarly, in this point, as you can see here, 1 is less than 2, ok. 2 is less than 1, that is false, right. So, the element stops to increase at this point. So, this is the value of i and what do you have to check? After the value of i, the element should decrease to 0 and it is strictly decreasing. So, 2 to 1, it is decreasing, but 1 to 4, it is increasing again and hence, this is wrong. So, as this is incorrect, we will say that this is not a mountain array, but I will show you by visualizing this that this is not a mountain array. So, here you can see a graph. It starts from 0 and then we have 1, 2, 1, 4 and then 0, ok. So, this is the exact values that are being repeated in this graph. So, as you can see here, we are increasing, decreasing when we should strictly decrease to 0, but again we are increasing and hence this is not a mountain graph, ok. So, for this we are going to code a solution in lead code. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to say that we are going to find the value of i, this peak point from which it starts decreasing. So, we are going to find the point until which it is in strictly increasing and the point which is where the element starts to decrease that will be our i, ok. After finding the value of i, we will check whether the elements from i until the last element is strictly decreasing. If it is not like this example, we will say it is not a uh, strictly decreasing array, ok. Uh, that means it is not a mountain array, but in case if it were decreasing until the last element, then we say that it is a mountain array. So, let us get to lead code. Let me start with the first case. The first case as we saw is if the array dot length is less than 3, ok. In that case, it was strictly given a mountain array should always be of length greater than or equal to 3. So, if it was less than 3, then it always means that it is not a mountain array and hence we are returning false. That is the first base case. It is a very, uh, you know, uh, simple edge case that we are given it directly to us in the question itself. So, what is the next part? The next part is to declare the value of i equal to 0. So, initially we are assuming the peak to be 0 and then we are going to traverse this array until we find the value of peak, ok. So, while we are going to traverse until i is less than array dot length minus 1, ok. 
and not just that the other condition that we have to check is array of i should be less than array of i plus 1. So, what does this mean? This means the elements are strictly increasing. Okay. So, this condition checks for out of bounds error. It should not exceed the array of length minus 1 and it should also be increasing. So, this condition checks whether the elements are in the increasing order. So, if both the conditions are satisfied. Sorry. So, if both the conditions are satisfied in that case, we increment the value of i and move to the next point and check the same condition. Okay. And after the end of this loop, what do we get? We will get the value of the peak point. Right. So, with that peak point, you will have to continue and check whether it is strictly decreasing order. Okay. So, we have found this part of the triangle. If, if this is a triangle, we have found the value of i. This is the tip of the triangle. After that, we have to check whether this decreases to the least value. Okay. So, that is what we are going to check next. But before that, we are given specifically in the question, as you can see here, the value of i should be between 0 and array dot length minus 1. And as I saw, as I said earlier, i cannot be 0 and i cannot be array dot length minus 1. So, with that in our minds, after finding the value of i, that is our peak value, we have to say that if i is equal to equal to 0 or if i is equal to equal to array dot length minus 1. In that case, we again return that our array is not a mountain array. So, why is that? Because if i is equal to equal to 0, it means that i is the peak value or the maximum value, peak of the mountain. If the starting element is the peak of the mountain, what does it mean? The mountain looks like this. So, it does not have an increasing part it certainly starts from decreasing and goes until the least value. So, for example, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If this is an array, that would be represented by this graph, right? But this is not a mountain array as we know. We have to have an increasing part and then a decreasing part. So, since this part is missing, we say this is not a mountain array. So, that is the condition for i equal to equal to 0. So, similarly, if i is equal to equal to i dot length minus 1, it means it is strictly increasing. So, i is this point which is the largest element which is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is the array. In that case, 5 would be the largest element. It is strictly increasing. So, we have reached 5. But there is no decreasing part. So, since this part is missing, we say that this is not a mountain array and return false. If both of these cases did not occur, it means we have an increasing part and a decreasing part. But it might increase here making it not a mountain array. So, we would have to check that. So, we are going to check whether the remaining part is strictly decreasing. For that, again, i should be less than array dot length minus 1. We should not go beyond our limit, beyond our bounds. And the other condition that we are going to check is that array of i should be decreasing, right? So, greater than array of i plus 1, exactly the opposite of the above one, okay? In that case, again, we increment the value of i and check again. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then if you have at 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, that would be checked by this part. Okay. So, first part, if the length is less than 3, return false. This part is to find the maximum element or the peak element where it is strictly increasing. Okay. So, this will find that part and if that part is 0 or length minus 1, that is if it is in this way without decreasing part, or if it is in this way without an increasing part, we return false. Here we check that whether it is strictly decreasing after this increasing part. If that is true, then we can return true, right? But how do we check that we have reached the end of the array? So we are having this array, and this loop will run until the elements are decreasing, right? So for example, this loop, the value of i here is 2. It starts to run, so it goes until here and the condition fails here because it starts to increase here, right? So, the condition is failed here. Now, the i value is 3. So, if the i value is equal to equal to array dot length minus 1, then it means that it is a mountain array. We have reached till the end. 
so here if you are reached till the end so if it starts from 2 and goes until 0 here then it means it is strictly decreasing and we can return true right but our i value stopped here which means there is an increasing part here and we did not reach the end so it means this is not a mountain array so in that case we did not our i value is not equal to array dot length minus 1 in that case we return false okay so this part can be simplified further by just returning this okay so if the i value is equal to equal to array dot length minus 1 it means we have reached the end and it is strictly decreasing which means we can return true if it is not we return false so this would be our solution to this valid mounted array question okay so i hope you enjoy this video before that let me first run this and verify whether do we have any errors and syntax problems here yeah i left a semicolon see this is where we run these stuff okay let's run this again and check for any errors that we have so it got accepted now let's submit the code and verify for all the other test cases that we have here congratulations we have submitted this and got accepted so this is a valid mountain array question so let's get started with the next question in the next episode until then bye bye from shiva